Hello everybody, this is Tashlan here and for the next couple of weeks I'm going to preface my videos with this little bit of a, a serious plea to all of you out there. As you may know, I am a member of the Creati Crew and as a group we raise money for the Extra Life Foundation for Children's Hospitals. On March the 18th, we are going to be doing a 12 hour live stream to raise funds for these children's hospitals. It starts at 12 midday and it's Eastern Standard Time, which if you're like me, uh, <laughs> GMT, that would be at five o'clock in the afternoon. It lasts for 12 hours and we're all going to get together and we're going to play games. A lot of them are inclusive games, which means that you can come and take part too. There are also going to be some prizes on offer, which is free games. And there's quite a lot to choose from. So that's always something good to look forward to. So please, March the 18th, mark it down on your calendar. You don't have to stick around for the full 12 hours, but pop in, see what we're doing and dig deep. Dig deep for these children that need all the help that they can get. And let's see if we can meet our goal and exceed it, just like we did last year. So, don't forget that date, March the 18th, that's 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 5 p.m. GMT. I'm going to be there, will you? Love you loads, peeps. Peace out. Well, hello all you wonderful peeps out there on the great big interwebs. This is Tashland saying hello and Woofy Licks from lovely Charlie sat here next to me sleeping and from Puddin' and Pie the Pussycats who are out in the garden terrorising the neighbourhood. Isn't that all good? <laughs> this is Prison Architect and I'm looking at all the planning that we've been doing and seeing that we've, we've wanting to do some solitary blocks. We were going to do some more cell blocks. We're going to expand our canteen and kitchen so that we could complete these objectives here. And also, <laughs> I remember last week uh, I was thoroughly distracted by um, mayhem <laughs> is the best way I can say it and I remember saying that um, there were two mistakes that I'd made the previous week and I fixed one of them which was assigning the kennel and uh, I didn't fix the other one so I bet you were all wondering well what was it well it's in the regime I noticed that with normal security I didn't give them any yard time uh, and I meant to fix that last week and I just didn't so let's fix that now let's try and decide when's a good time for them to have some yard time and da, da, da. I think we intended it to be where I've put shower twice so if we put yard there I think that's going to be better. Um, although thinking about it... Right, just bear with me, I'm having pandemonium. Right, and I'm back. Um, the the neighbours were busy moving their dustbins, so of course all the animals decided that it was time the noise was enough distraction for them to <laughs> create pandemonium once again. So I do apologise for that. I think hopefully we're all calm now. Uh, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, because I know that you know, once you get them trained up into the kitchen, that it's better if you have work time before food time, because obviously then they're working in the kitchens. But I don't want to put work time just before 
what well, you know have them at, at working at the same time so um, do, 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 do. what I could do I'm trying to think because I don't want to put you know you don't want to eat like within a couple of hours do they um okay this is going to get a little bit complicated I think if we put oops not yard eat eat time there and then we put their eat time there and just give them an extra free we can actually give them a work free time there and then we will put work free time there then we can have yard there and work we don't want work free time there do we so what will we put there we don't want to give them three hours in the yard or do we <laughs> um Yeah, I don't suppose that would be too bad. Although, to be honest, I'd rather have them having more work time than have it, than them having it. So, da 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 da. What will I do? If we can possibly just have them in lock up there. So, yes, trying to make sure that we don't have too much of a clash anywhere. Um, oh, we've got free time just before there, which actually should be a work time, shouldn't it? So if we put a free time there. Okay, not ideal, but there we go. That's the regime. <laughs> for now um, so what we really need to do now is just take this off pause don't we and just get to constructing uh, to do so we'll start off with these solitary cells here uh, they definitely need to be concrete I would say we will throw that up oh no hold on what we need to do first is we need to demolish those walls uh, because if we don't and I'm going to demolish these as well because it's not like the prisoners are going to go anywhere but we will need them to be able to move freely up here soon so rather demolish them sooner rather than later and here come our little workmen and they'll do the t -t 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 take things down then once they've done that we will be able to put up these foundations la 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 that's gone Right, so we'll do that. And we will throw in a jail door. Bada bing. Oh, ah, hello, cat. Thank you for leaping in my face. <laughs> that was, that's what was missing with my day. A cat in my face. Meow, yes, indeed. Right, so let's bung in our electricity. And we are going to need to bring some pipes along as well aren't we so what are we going to do with these pipes i think we're going to take it to there and take it up to there probably going to take it up further because that sells as well and then the small pipes we will run them along here again along here along here along here and I'm not going to say that those two words. <laughs> but we know what's going to go there, don't we? <laughs> I just realized I was just saying the same thing over and over and over. Like, that's not getting boring at all. <laughs> all right, so this building is already done. Now, I'm going to be, uh, hopefully, a little bit more intelligent with this than I was with these <laughs> ones. <laughs> There's no guarantees with me, let's face it. But we're going to build a wall here and a wall here. A wall here and one here. Um, for objects, what we're going to put in, we are going to put in a toilet just there. 
and we're also going to um, put a drain in here and here and a shower in here and here and we will give them a bed you don't usually in solitary but do you know why not and what we also need to put on here is a solitary door so we put a solitary door we will also give them ceramic floor and we will put that metal floor along here where well, we'll go we'll go up to here and let's see if <laughs> if i can do the cloning right for a change and we will then assign that as solitary and it will come up because it's not enclosed at the moment but as you can see there's no other <laughs> requirements so you can be quite mean with them in solitary oh let's uh hang on let's click on this door oh, what's that how can i not click on this door what's going on is it because i'm here there we go let's just um lock that open while they're working on it there we go Whew, otherwise it takes too long um that hasn't been staffed for a while i'm probably short on staff uh, no not deployment staff uh but we are short on funds all right that's about all we can afford as far as staff is concerned um doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> so we need to let them carry on with that and once we've done this the next thing we're, we're um, probably going to have to think about is we're going to need to think about parole visitation and also having a chapel um, I was thinking you know there's also classrooms and workshops but we are now starting to get quite cramped with space so uh, I mean a chapel's got minimum requirements uh, I think classrooms have got minimum requirements I mean it's possible that we could fit parole and visitation in over here not an ideal situation but it's still very possible so then we can you know still have a classroom and a workshop and if you're hearing a purr it's it's puddin he's got his head pressed right up against the microphone and he's purring his little heart out and i don't know if you can hear that over all the other noises i think we've decided we've run around and run havoc quite enough right how are we getting on with this um did we assign these yet uh i don't know solitary solitary yes i don't think we can see it under the bed i think that's all it, it is i can just see it slightly written under there there we go so that will be written under the bed <laughs> okay Right, so those now look like they're ready to quick build. <laughs> now, let's see if I can quick build this properly. Now, notice I haven't put windows in these, because I don't think it's solitary. They deserve windows, naughty people. There we go, one person already in there. Brosif Trollins. Brosif, what a name! <laughs> awesome. Okay, so this will be our clone, and we will pop that in there. We will pop that in there. We will pop that in there. And we will pop that in there. I think, I think I might have done it right this time. Yay for me. <laughs> okay. So now we really need to prioritize making this kitchen bigger, don't we? Okay. So that'll be our next thing. So I'm just looking at funds. We're really not doing very well um let's get no we don't need materials we need 
concrete. Da, da, ba, ba. So we will throw this up over here. We already decided we're going to throw in a large jail door over there. And let's go to our utilities. And um, we're definitely going to need to bring some electricity over there. How are we doing here? Oh, we're fine. Um, so we will bring this electrical cable. We'll drag it up through here. And zap it across like that. That should do us. Um, so we just need to wait for that to get built now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're busy building our solitary cells. Yeah, you see, we've got prisoners up for parole, so we really need to concentrate on that. Uh, increasing the size of the force is problematic. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, until they build that, let's, let's, let's speed it up to top speed. Um... 16 prisoners are suppressed. Oh my goodness. Danger level is low and increasing. Um, I wonder why. Oops, what's happened here? Attacked staff. Ugh. I mean, really? This whole club mid thing, you know. <laughs> okay, so that one's flashing. Uh, so does that mean that we haven't connected it? Yes, it does. No connection. And there's no connection on that one. Well, there is now. Okay. Lovely. And we've got eyes on everything now. And there they are, nom 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 nomming. And they're build, 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 building. So, um, we can do some planning while they're doing that, so we don't just sit here and watch. As I say, we need parole. Um, we will, I'm gonna, I think, the chapel is gonna go over here. So we will just sort of throw up a provisional. Yep, that's gonna be our chapel. Uh, we'll have, you know, nice doors in there. And now the parole, it needs to be the same as an office. And I think office has to be four by four. So it needs to be sort of you know, counting the walls. We need to have it at least six. So it needs to be yeah, six by six. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> ah, ah, it's all gone horribly wrong. And let's just get rid of all of that. Uh, so that would be one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just check, shall we? Because uh, see, yeah, the chapel is six, well, six by six. So I think we've, we've nailed that. And uh, parole, there we go. It's got to be minimum five by five. So one, two, three, four. So that's not big enough. Oh, I'm glad I checked that. Uh, but everyone was yelling, no, you've got it wrong. It's it's all going to go terribly, terribly wrong for you. Uh, so that's the minimum size we're going to need. We'll need a couple of parole offices. So... Um, I always forget that, <laughs> that extra wall bit. So let's do that. And now, visitation. Is there a uh, visitation? It's got that I've got. Have I already? I've done a visitation room. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, okay. So that means I probably. We can. Because classroom and workshop can go there. Oh, we're not doing too badly as far as space. Ah, oh, now, while we were planning, this has been built. So, um, instead of... I'm trying to think very carefully here. 
Um, we will put one serving table and then we'll be able to dismantle the other one uh, rather than spend out twice. And as far as tables are concerned, we'll put all bar one in so we can dismantle the one that's there. All right. And same with same with benches. I'm ignoring all of those noises. <laughs> oh dear me. My little pussy cats are big live wires, I can tell you. Right, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's no, let's lock that door open so we've got passage through there and what we'll need to do is we need to demolish that wall there and we've got somebody who's injured over here well that's what you get for being a naughty boy okay that's that wall demolished and now uh, we're going to dismantle this 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 and this uh, as far as rooms are concerned yeah, do, 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 do. canteen we are going to now assign this as canteen um, because that'll because they're milling about there because they don't have a canteen but they they do now. Uh, I shouldn't actually have demolished all that wall, oh, do you know? Because what we want is we want wall there and there, don't we? And what we want is we want to demolish that piece of wall. There we go, that's that's working quite rapidly. Um, and then we are going to change this room into a kitchen. Okay, and we want to add in, come on, another sink. And I'm hoping that we can put it like that and it'll be fine and then we also want um trying to see we probably have room for a few cookers like that and a few fridges like that um, we'll just need to see in utilities the Oh, they've hooked themselves up to that electrical cable there. Um, and the, f yes, oh, that's nice. Now the sink will need some pipes. That's the one I wasn't sure about. So we'll drag that along there and it should be hunky-dory. Um, now we go to rooms, not objects. And we want to unassign that as canteen because it's not. It's not a canteen. What the heck is that? Huh? What's going on there? Um, is that an object that needs dismantling or what? Um, right. Don't do. <laughs> Uh, la 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 and now I'm looking for we've got a spare serving table there now so we will pop that in there um, we have a spare table which can now go there and we should have two spare benches and we'll pop them in there that should now if we go into logistics yes now we can assign prisoners yes we've done that one Whew. <laughs> That was taking some doing, wasn't it? Okay, and right. Let's have a look at grants. What else is there? Um, 
that one always takes so long it's very difficult and that one as well I'm tempted to do the long-term investment let's do that oh dear it's all kicking off somewhere what's going on oh you naughty boys honestly I want to crack on with building the parole facility because um, we get money if we get prisoners released and let's face it parole it's one of the easier builds so no, let's go with concrete we will build that we will add a jail door in there and in there we'll grab our utilities so let's see electrical cables zap that up into there and over to there and that should get us our parole um, which is good uh, oh we're losing money again we're gonna have to fire some people dratsy drats um, mm -mm -mm. Let's have a look at our staff. We'll fire a couple of these guys. And we are definitely going to have to fire those guards again. Oi! Okay. We definitely need to bring up our... Uh... Well, actually we can get four more prisoners in apparently we've lost four huh, I didn't know that that'll be why uh, so we'll just go to fill capacity there we go four more coming in okay <laughs> problem solved how nice uh, let's see we don't have an awful lot of cash but if we can get some more prisoners coming in so let's see if we can't grab ourselves oof that's tight okay objects and then a large jail door over there at least we're making some progress with that um okay this is annoying but okay so we're gonna do that and uh, get into the planning so it removes that and we will assign these rooms as parole and that should require a visitors table so we go to objects la da di da di da and we look for the visitors table so we throw one in there and we throw one in there oh no we don't we have one parole okay well that that's good um let's go to uh, i think it's is it policy no regime no programs um we don't uh we need to start uh we need to start a lot of these but i think the one we need the most is we need a parole hearing so hello uh won't start why won't it start huh okay let's wait until that's built maybe okay and what we don't want now is we don't want it locked open there we go Oh, has somebody been bumped up? He's been bumped up to max sec. Nick Knack New. <laughs> this guy is a professional game, but when his company went bust, he went on the world's biggest rampage. Okay. Naughty boy. All right. So we will need a max sec cell for him. Which will probably be this one. Right, now we do have that parole thing. Let's look at our this now and see if it will let us do a parole. Now, I think it accepted it that time. Yes, 
that's nice so can we start another one and another one and another one there we go um, that's gonna start getting them into maybe getting released and that sort of thing so that will stop a lot of discontent as well uh, let's let's see if we can outfit at least one cell because we do have that maximum security uh, fella now uh, what I'm going to do is let's do concrete wall here and here here and here and let's click on that door and lock it open for now um, so they're going to be building that we need to look at our utilities and we need to bring the pipe up we need definitely small pipe there we're also going to need electricity coming up through here right and I think as far as quick build we can replicate the interior of the cell because we have done them sort of the same shape so let's replicate the interior and hope that we've got enough money for at least one and we do nice and do we have enough to throw a window in here oops no we don't okay well that's that's fine um, we, we really only need this one cell for that chap to go into uh, I'm just worried that we don't have enough for a jail door either we don't well drat <laughs> dratty dratty drat 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 <laughs> um okay so no we can't put him in there yet Oh, how annoying. But we are, we are getting money in slowly but surely. La -de 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 -de. Um, I wonder if there's something we can sell just in the interim. I suppose we could sell one laundry machine. That might work, mightn't it? Um, so if we letting us sell that object do we have to dismantle it to sell it that's possibly what we have to do oh it's so cute both cats are sitting on the window ledge and they look just like proper ornaments up there it's so adorable oops but they're eating my plants up there Not anymore. <laughs> All right. Oh, we've certainly got an awful lot of money. We must have got some prisoners in. Da, 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 da. Wonderful. That means that we can now put a jail door on here. And we can also pop that window in that I wanted. Yep, yeah, that's me happy. Okay, now that does mean that that um, maximum security prisoner who had probably been dumped into the holding cell, it means now that he can be assigned that cell. There we go. He's been assigned a cell. Right. I don't really like having maximum security guys. Uh, we're not really geared up for it. But there we go. Um, so let's go now for quick build and can we let's if we highlight along here now that's gonna get it's gonna grab the camera let's do that and throw that in there and then go to materials and we'll grab the metal floor and put that there and there so that should give us that. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> I've been attacked by little ravenous pussycats. 
Okay. Oh, my little boys. Oh, they're so adorable. I love these cats so much. Don't know if you can hear that purr. No. Go on, go play. <laughs> right. Uh, oof. I tell you something, I get so into this game. I, I really hope you're as interested in this game as I am because um, I'm having so much fun showing all of this to you and it is getting close. I would say probably we're about two or three episodes away from the big escape. Um, so that, that'll be fun as well to actually be prisoners in our own prison. So I am looking forward to that, um, but we are out of time for now. So um, thank you for joining in and watching me make a mess of things and oh dear look at this have we got dead bodies down here no no we've just had a bit of a kickoff <sighs> you know boys will be boys it's a good job i've got an infirmary i had a question here are you expecting a lot of casualties uh yes apparently i am <laughs> Okay, but anyway, thank you uh, for sharing this with me, my lovely internet peeps out there in the interwebs. This is um, uh, licks and woofs from China the Dog, lots of purrs from Puddin and Pie, the mischievous pussycats, and from me, you know, we love you loads. Peace out, peeps.